Unleash the Atheists, World War III. That's a dramatic title, but um, there's some dramatic information here concerning exactly that and the destruction of all of the atheists, uh, and Christians by the way, through a plan of this man here, Albert Pike, a uh, Freemason, um, a Luciferian, a pagan. Uh, in 1871 he claimed he had a vision of three world wars. Uh, and you can have a vision from God or you can have a vision in your own mind. And I believe that this was a vision in his mind because it, it is plans of men. Uh, but it's also come from somewhere else because all of this stuff comes directly from the fallen angels. Now, uh, Albert Pike predicted World War I, World War II and World War III. But I believe he got that information from somewhere else and it was a long-term plan. Because what he has uh, written about all three world wars, um, two at least anyway so far, because the third one hasn't happened, it, he was correct. Uh, let me just read you what Albert Pike said and how it leads to the destruction uh, of the atheists and also the destruction of Christians. And of course leaving then um, the uh, pagan religion of, uh, of devil worship as the main religion of the world, the only religion of the world. One world, one religion. In 1871, long before the events, this is what um, Albert Pike said of uh, three world wars. The first world war must be brought about in order to permit the Illuminati to overthrow the power of the Tsars in Russia and of making that country a fortress of atheistic communism. The divergence is caused by the, by the agents of the Illuminati between the British and Germanic empires will be used to foment this war. At the end of the war, communism will be built and used in order to destroy the other governments and in order to weaken the religions. That's basically what happened with World War I. Uh, now let's see what Albert Pike said with World War II. The Second World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences between the fascists and the political Zionists. This war must be brought about so that Nazism is destroyed and that the political Zionism be strong enough to institute a sovereign state of Israel in Palestine. During the Second World War, international communism must become strong enough in order to balance Christendom, which would then be restrained and held in check until the time when we would need it for the final social cataclysm. Again, uh, that's what's happened. Uh, so, uh, is Albert Pike a prophet? No, he's not a prophet. Now, let's hear what he's got to say about World War III. He's got the first two right. Now, let's hear World War III. The Third World War must be fermented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agents of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, uh, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the state of Israel, mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual and economical exhaustion. We shall unleash the Nehalists, that's uh, persons who believe human existence has no objective, meaning, purpose or intrinsic value, uh, and the atheists. So, he said there that they shall, he shall unleash the atheists, and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effects of absolute atheism, origin of savagery and of the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity whose uh, deistic spirits will uh, from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal, but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, brought finally out in, the, in public view. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement, which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. So, according to Albert Pike, Freemason and uh, Luciferian, the ultimate objective is the destruction of atheism and the destruction of Christianity, to be replaced with the Luciferian doctrine. So, at that time, uh, if 
you are what you call yourself an atheist now, you will not be allowed not to believe. You will have to believe in the Luciferian doctrine or face the consequences. If you are a Christian, well, the Holy Bible has already told us what's going to happen um, to us and also to those who do not believe. So, um, my advice here on this is, of course, uh, you know, this is uh, spine-tingling stuff. This guy is definitely not a prophet. He's, uh, he's, he's a pagan. Um, all of his uh, symbolisms are pagan uh, and his objectives are pagan and that is uh, one world uh, religion and that is the, the, the religion of what they call the religion of light which is uh, Luciferianism. So um, if you're a, an atheist you're against the wrong people and may I just point out that atheists don't actually have any belief and therefore would not be using pagan religious symbols on things like uh, their web channels, etc., uh, when they are being so foul and obnoxious towards Christians who have done absolutely nothing wrong to them whatsoever. Albert Pike, there it is there, direct from paganism itself. We shall unleash the atheists. What do you unleash? Well, what's on a leash? You would have a dog on a leash. And uh, in the Holy Bible, the book of Revelation, in God's great city, outside of it, will be all the immoral, the dogs. It's in the Bible. It's already there. And Albert Pike has used the analogy of a leash uh, uh, of dogs as far as the atheists are concerned. So, um, everyone, you should stop fighting. You should all start listening to Jesus Christ. It's either that or you're going to be listening to Apollyon the Destroyer, courtesy of people, pagans like Albert Pike.